What is going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in today's video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So today's topic we're going to be talking about IIFYM or if it fits your macros also known as flexible dieting. So tons of you guys have been asking me questions on how can you start this? Like how, how can you embark on this journey of flexible dieting? So what is flexible dieting? Flexible dieting is basically another way to allow you to be sociable while still seeing results. And what I mean by that is you hear tons of people say, oh, you know what, I can't go out. Um, I can't go out to eat with you. I can't do this, I can't do that because you know why? Because I'm dieting. Uh, my diet doesn't allow me to. Well, things have changed. It's, you know, it's 2017. Um, the fitness world, the realm of it, has has completely evolved. Evolved. Sorry about that. Evolved. Anyway, it's completely evolved, and um, it allows you now by just tracking your calories, getting into into further depth, tracking your macros, and. This allows you just to live a sociable lifestyle, to not cut anything out, to not cut out family time, um, you know, girlfriend time, boyfriend time, whatever you're into. That's what it allows. It allows you to be a social butterfly, you know what I mean? So a point I want to get across to you guys is that, yes, clean eating is going to get you so far, but if you track your calories and you track your macros and you try to hit those goals at the end of the day, it's going to be a much further progress. So if you hit your certain carbs, fats, and proteins, you know exactly what is going into your body. So that could keep your progression going while if you eat clean, you're not gonna know exactly what's taken into your body. So you're not gonna have an estimate of how many calories you're actually getting. So you can be eating over your calories and you're just gonna start, be, start putting on weight. While if you do tracking your macros, you're gonna see exactly what you're putting into your body to either build muscle or lose fat. Why do you wanna track your macronutrients? Tracking your macronutrients is going to help you reach your target of either losing fat or gaining mass, muscle mass. And that's going to also be a personal preference or you could also track your, cal your macronutrients to maintain what you already have. So the easiest way to actually show you guys how to track your calories is by giving you examples, you know what I mean? How to track your macros. So let's get into that. All you're going to need to track your calories is going to be a weight scale and a smartphone. And the smartphone, you're gonna be downloading the app MyFitnessPal, which is one of the highest rating cal calorie trackers out there, guys. So let's say I want some of this puffed corn cereal, correct? And let's say I want 32 grams of it. I'm gonna make sure my bowl is on there. I'm gonna zero it out. So up to zero. Weigh 32 grams of this. Once I have 32 grams weighed on the scale, I'm gonna wanna get my fitness pal, correct? And then this is my diary right here. So I'm gonna click add food. And you're gonna see there's like this barcode right here at the very top. Click on the barcode, it's gonna take you to your camera. And it's gonna allow you to scan this barcode that you see at the back of this bag. On the back of this bag, one cup equals 16 grams, correct? We poured out 32 grams. So that would equal two cups. So what I would do is click two servings. And you don't even have to add it. All you gotta do is click this arrow and bam, it comes out. So that meal right there is 24 grams of carbs, two grams of fat, four grams of protein. So what if we have a, something that doesn't have a barcode? Let's say it doesn't have this and you can't just seem to find it. So let's just let's just weigh out 100 grams of this white rice right here. So once so once we hit 100 grams of of white rice that we wanted, we're gonna go to add this meal. And we're gonna search it up at the very top. White rice. Once you do, you could probably click any of these. These are really like, though especially the ones with the check are very reliable. So I'll click on that. Instead of going to one cup, their serving size is right here. Can you see that? This is one cup. Instead of that, since we, we didn't measure a cup, we measured in grams. We'll click on that, 100 grams, what do you, what do you know? So a number of servings, 100 grams, we're just gonna have one serving of that. All we'll do is add it to the check, and bam, 21 carbs, not even one gram of fat, and two grams of protein. 
All right, guys, so you guys saw that. You could either weigh in and scan it in MyFitnessPal, weigh in and search it on MyFitnessPal. So how are you gonna calculate your macro? So first things first is going to be set finding out your TDEE. So basically what that stands for is total daily energy expenditure. And that's how much energy, AKA calories, your body uses throughout the day. Okay, so your lifestyle is gonna play a huge role into this. So someone who is a desk job person and works strictly in the office, doesn't do much, you know what I mean? Which is not bad, but they just don't move around so much. They're gonna have a much lower TDEE compared to someone who's a construction worker because the construction worker is constantly moving, constantly putting in work, just coming out of his job, just drenched in sweat, you know what I mean? So you're gonna have to figure that out. I'm gonna have a link down below in the description box to figure out your total daily expenditure because it's gonna allow you to basically choose your, like how active you are throughout the day, how many times a week you actually work out, so and so. Anyway, you're gonna figure that out and that's gonna be your maintenance calories, guys. Okay, so once you figure out your maintenance calories, what you're gonna wanna do is basically try to hit those calories to that number for one to two weeks, yes, I know it can be a little painful and a little annoying to do that, but it's gonna help you figure out if you actually maintain your weight or if you actually gain weight or actually lost weight. What you wanna know about macronutrients is one, one gram of protein equals four calories, right? And then one gram of carbs equals four calories. And then finally we have one gram of fat equals nine calories so as you can see the fat is a little higher but that's nothing to be scared of because what it comes down to is what these things do in the body so basically fats they regulate your hormones make you feel basically normal throughout the day you got your carbs carbs give you give your energy throughout the day so the more carbs you have not necessarily all the time you the more energy you have um, and then finally, protein, protein, the build, uh, building block of protein are amino acids. Amino acids helps with protein synthesis. Um, basically, cut the scientific stuff out, it helps you build muscle, all right, guys? And there's much more to that. It helps your skin, your, your hair, your teeth, everything, all right? All right, guys, so after you figure out your TDEE, total daily expenditure, what you're gonna wanna do is figure out your macros. So an example I'm gonna give to you is let's say we get this 180 pound individual. He or she figures out their macros, I mean their calories, to maintain their body weight is 2,500 calories. So first off, in order to figure out their macros, we're gonna start off with protein and how much protein they should be intaking. And depending on that, so a good number to go by is for every one pound of body, body weight is gonna be one gram of protein. So if the individual weighs 180 pounds, they're gonna be intaking 180 grams of protein. Up next, we're gonna figure out the individual's macros for fat. And this individual, a great number to go by is 0.4. So if they weigh 180 pounds, we're gonna multiply that by 0.4, and that should give us 72 grams of fat. To make things much more simpler, we're gonna just round it down to 70 grams of fat to make everything way easier. So last but not least, we're gonna figure out this individual's carbohydrate intake. So what we're going to do is going to get the, 100, the 180 grams of protein times that by 4 to give us 720 calories. Then we're going to get our fat intake which is going to be 70 grams of fat times that by 9 to give us 630 calories. So we're going to be taking our protein and our fat calories and we're going to be combining both together. That should give us 1,350 calories, okay? So like I said, in order to maintain this individual's body fat, the individual had to have taken 2,500 calories each day. So we're gonna take 2,500, subtract that by 1,350, and that should leave us with a total of 1,150 calories left for carbohydrates. So we're gonna divide that by four, and that should leave us with 287 grams of carbohydrates. So the total for this individual should be 180 grams of protein, 70 grams of fat, and 287 grams of carbohydrates for a total of 2,500 calories for this individual. So depending on your personal goal, you could either add three to 500 calories to add a size to your frame, by, I mean my muscle mass 
or just weight in general, add 300 to 500 calories to either your carbohydrates or your fats. But on the opposite side, if you want to lose body fat and want to lose weight, I highly suggest starting off at a lower calories. So subtract the 300 calories away from your most likely your carbohydrate sources. That way you can put you in a caloric deficit and allow you to lose body weight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it very informative. If you guys want anything else, please comment down below because I wouldn't be here without you guys. Truly appreciate all the new subscribers. Hit 900. So thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep it real. And you say that I'm crying for you. I heard